It's Robin Eve. Hey, it's me, Lady T. And as I don't know if you can tell, we're in new scenery. But so somebody complained and complained. I did. And we're finally at my casa. Um, let me first start off this video. Um, Robin Eve put up a video of me sleeping at her couch after working a hard at our shift. And her and my kids thought it was funny to record me snoring or sleeping and it scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> that was a good one. Bravo, <laughs> Robbie. As, as our subscribers want me to get sweet revenge. I'm going to get you back. But you know... I'm going to get her back. I don't like to be scared. Guys, I don't like to be scared. I'm going to get her back. And I'm going to do something clever. Recording me sleep. And I, excuse me, I had a heart attack and died. Hmm, I felt bad. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so we are going to uh, do a little topic. And um, awesome. I think we're going to start doing a lot of these. Just, you know, stuff that's going on as far as something people may relate to or have a problem with. Whatever. Um, it all started with uh, some disrespectful acts from certain people on... Facebook towards well that I felt towards my husband and it just brought me back to the stuff in the past I mean, even in the past I've had a problem with it with females who come out of pocket and and do stuff that I feel is very disrespectful when it's towards somebody who's in a relationship or married they don't even got to be married but just in a relationship period um, I just feel like people are very very disrespectful and, I mean, it's with, it, you know, back in the day, it used to be stuff just hidden, and that's not good either, but nowadays, people don't care. They're doing stuff out in the open, now with these public forums and social networks, people don't, it's like you completely ignore somebody's feelings. Like, we're in, it's, we're, it's like we're not human, like we're savages or something. Yeah, it's to the point where people have, it, it gets to the point where people have no shame in what they do or how they conduct themselves. And it's, it's sad at some times, you know. Mm -hmm. And by far, we say we're perfect. You know, we have our flaws. But at the same time, you know, I think as you get older in life, mm -hmm. it, it should be maturity and growth. Mm -hmm. So some of the things you did when you're teenage and early 20s, whatever, you, gotta, you know, you got to get out of that. And I mean, like I said, I mean, to the point where now people have no shame in um, being intrusive in someone's marriage, relationship, anything, mm -hmm. you know. And it's almost like they get a high off trying to cause problems where there's no problems needed. You see, you know, I mean, so it's just it's a mess. It's um, crazy. What kind of heightened it? Um, we told you guys, and we'll do a review on Basketball Wives um, as well. But um, I follow Royce on Twitter, and the episode from Monday. She kind of it she opened the world to her relationship with her new guy and what's his name um, Devin Desmond Demond something like that somewhere D I don't know if last name is Briscoe okay so, we'll call him Briscoe but he plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so he plays football and um he's uh, he a little person we don't, I we never heard of him well of course we wouldn't hear from him but he, my husband knows who he is he said he's a pretty good receiver so um. Anyways, clearly he's doing something. He's in the NFL. That's what I say. He's yeah, riding the bench. You in the NFL. But um, anyway, so she opened the world to her relationship, and I'm talking about it was like switch. Now this girl has literally been with this guy at least since that I've seen for the last few months. The last God, I want to say five months, maybe. Is that too long? What's five months ago? Well, either way it goes. I would say at like least December. I would at least say since December, I've been seeing her talk about the guy and um, things of that nature. Why, as soon as it comes on TV that he's actually saying he loves her and doing all the sweet stuff for her, that people all of a sudden came out the woodworks. The haterism, boy. People just... The woodworks. Not, like I the said... the hater switch on and bam. It just, it just wow. went for it. Like... 
all of a sudden people you know his his the mother of his child she comes out and she's saying stuff out of pocket then it's these these other girls who I think may have been in relationships with him in the past who are saying he's talking to them still and the baby mama she's posting text messages online to, to prove to Royce that he's sleeping or trying to get back with her and then there's another girl post naked pictures of him um saying he just sent those to her and that's crazy it's you know this is my thing you people are saying that they want it to be well she should know you know she needs to know she don't need to be with a cheater this that and the third there's a such thing as privacy like you cannot message this girl in private and say look this is what's going on can i get your phone number i want to send you some stuff mm -hmm. like there's other ways of going about it what it starts to look like is that you're seeking attention mm -hmm. you're trying to get attention by doing this stuff out in the public Thunder. like that like, i mean you're trying to embarrass this girl and like i said i mean if, if ever the situation where you know, we had a friend that's going through the same thing. You know, we wouldn't dare put it on Facebook. Um, well, you think he was yours last night? Well, bam. You know. Yeah. Well, look at he that. Me, he you was know. that night. You and, know. and my thing is, I mean, like, okay, it took for this episode to air on national TV. Then all of a sudden, you want to come out and put this up on Twitter. Not on Twitter. You know, posting up things. And then it looks, the, the, to me... They look suspect. The suspect. The, the you messages the and... Mama. You know, what? You have some baby mama. It's like... You know, oh God, I it's like it's, it's so. But sticky. you know, on another level, on yeah. another level, that's the father of your child. You may bash him; he's not doing anything for him. He's a deadbeat. That okay? If that's it, mm -hmm. then he's a, a he's irrelevant. So yeah. why are you even speak? Why are you even able to post recent messages that you and him are having? Yeah. If he's such a deadbeat, now he's a deadbeat. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it just makes you look really weird. If if the, if that's the case and. <laughs> He's not doing for your child. Mm -hmm. That's bad. It's awful. And it's going to come back on him. Yeah. You know, I'm sick of these girls. Oh, he's a deadbeat. This, okay, if he's a deadbeat, mm -hmm. you don't need to be the one to say it. Because his child's going to be able to see exactly. it. In the long run, his kid's going to be able to see what he does. Exactly. To him when he does exactly. And I, I'm you know? a firm believer in that. You know, I don't yeah. bash my kids father them because... You know, like I said, as they grow up and they start to open eyes and see, mm -hmm. I don't, there's nothing I have to say to them that they're not going to see for themselves. Mm -hmm. Then I'll let them form their own opinion, you know. But my thing is, and then it's so funny, like, you show these tweets, like, trying to get Billy bad with Royce and try to prove something to her, but all the tweets, that, the pictures that she showed from her cell phone, he's talking about bending her over somewhere and, and smashing, you know. It's always something about doing with sex, mm -hmm. nothing about the kid. Like, one said, okay, yeah, I love you for having my child. But that like on for the brain, such and such over some money. Mm -hmm. What does our son need, or you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. It's about bending you over, some, over on the couch and, and you know something sex. So you want to display that, but he's somebody who only wants some hip from you. And that's a good you know, thing. You so, know what? That's you know. a good point to bring up too. Yeah. Is that these girls say these things, but he's claiming someone. He's doing other things besides having sex mm -hmm. with someone else. But when he looks at you, you're nothing but a sexual object. Exactly. No, it's not exactly. right. It's not right at all. I'm and not he, saying you're saying he made right. the conscious decision to 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 put himself on this show. You know, everybody who's for, see is shown on this cam on these cameras have to mm -hmm. sign a contract, some kind of thing stating, okay, we're gonna put you on film. Everybody mm -hmm. gonna see it. Are you cool with it? So he felt like what he had Royce was cool enough to put it on TV and show everybody how much he loved this girl. And, you know, all of a sudden, these little, you know, like I said, these sidelines would have come out the woodworks and, oh, but he was with me last night, you know, Royce, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's pretty fake. And you know what? And another thing to say about the sideline, I, I don't, I don't like to speak about things that I do not, that I haven't related to, that I can't put myself in that situation or in that, sh in, in the shoes of that person. And I'm, I'm honestly, honestly, ashamed to admit it, but it's like. I have been in a situation yeah. where I dated a guy who, or I was with a guy who had a girlfriend, and I was ashamed. I wouldn't have dared came out and been like, oh, well, he was at my house. Oh, you messing with him again? I wouldn't dare do that because it's, 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 it's. It's ridiculous. You were yeah. a bottom, it's a bottom feeder move. It, to me, yeah. when you know someone's with somebody else and you're still, now I understand love, but that was my thing love plays a part and you know sometimes mm -hmm. you get with someone and you can't help but what you feel towards them and you yeah. fell in love with them or whatever the case may be i get that but i wouldn't dare go out and be all parading around stuff about a dude who mm -hmm. is claiming someone else 
Yeah. Now, if I felt like, okay, it's, it's gone on far le- enough, long enough, I'm ready to confess, I want her to know, I'm going to pull her aside like a woman and let her know, this is what I've done, I'm not proud of it, but this is what's happening. And I'm telling you this because I want to help you. I wouldn't go on Facebook and start saying, oh, well, I'm going to tag him and this and him. His girlfriend going to see this. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's really, I'm really it's ridiculous. Just, it's just plain old school being messy. Yeah. Being messy, being trifling, being childish, doing, you know, doing whatever. And then, you know, you ain't even worried about how you, how you look at the end. Mm-hmm. Because, you know... I wouldn't be over. Yeah, he ain't a good father. He don't do this and that. Oh, but you know, I'm entertaining text messages from him mm-hmm. saying how he want to bend me over the couch exactly. and, and hit. But you don't take care of our, our child. Mm-hmm. You know, silly on you, woman, mm-hmm. whoever this baby mama is. Silly on you. Shame on you. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I said, I mean, we've been through situations like, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe we may have been that female or been the main girl. But like I said, with maturity and growth, you know, as exactly. you get, you know, and and some, it's sad for me to say sometimes some it seems like females are so stuck, and I just think that's we're just that's in our DNA. That's just, we're embedded with a little bit of, you know, competition or what or whatever it is. We have to mm-hmm. outdo the next woman, but you know, some things just ain't worth making you look like a fool on national TV or, you know, on these social websites. So, you know, you really have to kind of step back and be like, okay, if you're doing this to, to um, save Royce from whatever, like Robin said, it could have been done in private. Everything mm-hmm. has a way of getting, you know, to someone, but when you choose to go on a, a site where, you know, millions of people can view it, you're being messy, you're being hurtful, you know? Mm-hmm. So I don't take what you did was trying to help Royce because then you were like, yeah, Royce got more for you. Got some more coming up. Come on now. Like, so. who, like yeah, girl. It's, 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 that's it's, a mess. It's, 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 that uh, is a hot mess. And, and you know, some things are acceptable when you're younger. But when you get a certain age, yeah. put that stuff aside. Because like I just said, I've been in that position before. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been in both too. positions before. Yeah. But when I was in the position where I felt, I mean, when I was pretty much the sideline if you want to say yeah. so it got to a point where this is enough like mm-hmm. is this the way we're gonna live our lives like exactly it's we're getting older it's time to yeah, give it up it's, it's, time, it's, to it's, time, it's time to move on yeah i mean i was for me it was the same guy it was one guy mm-hmm. i was his main girlfriend the next day you no know, he got him a girlfriend that became the side girl mm-hmm. you know and so we're just like That's how it do. you know but you that was you know you gotta let some go you gotta grow out of that mess so you know to her you know to the baby mom and and the other females who thought it was cute to try to embarrass Royce, you really made you you look like a fool. Yeah, you look on, like a on fool. Twitter, uh, seriously. A complete fool. And you so, what makes you look a bigger fool, especially if she stays with this guy and they're mm-hmm. still together, and then they end up flourishing, and then they they get married and all that stuff. Especially mm-hmm. to the baby mama, if she married, if he marries her, that's gonna be your child stepmom. Yeah. You know, so whether you whether you like it or not, it, it, it is. And y'all, y'all got this stuff. When you put it online, even if you delete it, that stuff is forever. Yeah. You done got online and said this stuff. So, you know, people just you gotta, uh, you you gotta get some morals. You know, that's one thing when you try to figure yourself out when you're younger. Yeah. But once you hit a certain age, especially when you start having children, get some morals about yourself. You know, just be. What's the word? You got to care somewhat about somebody's yeah. feelings. Even if you don't yeah. know this person, even if you don't like this person, you still got to understand they're human just like you are. They have feelings just like you mm-hmm. do. So you wouldn't want someone to come out there and expose your, your life like that. I mean, yeah, she's on TV, but you wouldn't want no one to come out there yeah. and, and say, oh, your man's doing this and start tweeting about it and put naked pictures and you don't put I the mean, baby daddy's I mean, number all online. Say, you know, like, you know, that first, the first few seasons of, um, of basketball wise, I didn't know Royce even had a child. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just that, I mean, that kind of, I mean, I know the baby dad has to do with that mm-hmm. too, but it still kind of goes to the integrity of this woman that, you know, you're not exploiting your child on TV mm-hmm. or, you know, got, you know, got your, got your child on TV and then one minute you acting the fool, mm-hmm. you know, cussing and fighting. So, you know, I mean, like I say, you know, just wise up when we got to be wise women, virtuous mm-hmm. women it's in Proverbs, you know. Read it. Yeah, you, you know, need to and sit down and talk. And mm-hmm. when when Roy said DM me, that that was a private. Ain't that private messages? Exactly. That's where you should have kept it. Direct messaging, it. and you still chose to put it 
to where millions can see it. So exactly. Like and the, you know, kind of going back to the beginning of what I was saying, because we're I don't want to make it too long, but the whole Facebook thing and what brought up the topic in the first place is when you see someone's in a relationship, and I understand you know your husbands and your boyfriends, they have girlfriends and things of that nature. You still have to be aware that this person is in a relationship or they are married. Don't go on there and do stuff and say stuff that you would say to somebody who's single. Because it causes problems, it causes drama, and it's in, it, it, it flirts on a line of embarrassing. And if someone approaches you or says something, then it's like, oh my God, you now you're starting drama. To, no, just watch what you say to people. Mm -hmm. Watch what you say. Yeah. Watch what you do. And and just be respectful. That's it. I, we just need a world with some respect. That's it. Ooh, you ain't got to like, you ain't got to agree. This be world respectful. might be in the bad time that come around. <laughs> Well, that's all for that um that uh review. So, hope y'all have a blessed that wasn't one. That was a review. What was it? A discussion. Where are you at? Where are your antennas? I'm at home. <laughs> Bye, love. Bye, love. So